Welcome back, everybody, to Tabletop Theater. We have uh, our guest back, Dar. Dar is back. Yes, yes. back. Dar is back. <laughs> I can't get again. there, but I should intro, intro, uh, as a recap, as a recap, here's what's been going on. The Goon Squad wanted to uh, be leaders of their own adventures, get more responsibility. They were tasked with uh, stopping or slowing down Wisterion, a rogue agent from the Arcana Pansophago, the organization that you all work for. You headed to Whitestone, where you met with um, the where you met with Queen Vexalia. Uh, the, one of the last remaining adventures from the original Vox Machina, and now older, uh, having is in charge of Whitestone, where they produce special um, iridium, a greenish substance that, when concentrated, makes magic do weird shit. It enhances it, and it's uh, one of the few known sources of it. Wisterion. His ancestors ruled this land, and he's here to take it back with any means necessary. He has allied himself with a mysterious witch whose powers, the abilities to connect through realms, through the cracks that have been uh, appearing and moving towards the, uh, to the uh, uh, solstice event that's coming soon, the points will be weakest between these realms and other realms. Her goal seems to appear to bring somebody back. Wisteron's goal is to be arming his army with the most advanced dirt weapons available. But the goon squad put a stop to that. They successfully blew up a cache of modern dirt weapons uh, and uh, stole plans of his attack. Slowing and stopping Wisterion's uh, uh, army. Just in, uh, however, as a sort of quick revenge during a festival that you all were celebrating with. Celebrating. The queen got on a pedestal to you know and give an inspiring speech and from miles away Wisterion with a sniper rifle Barrett M50 long range took her out the city is in chaos and that's where we get back did you catch all that dar <laughs> <laughs> so i just i wake up from Asleep, and I find that everything's just went to shit, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, with you, for you particularly, you have been working on a special assignment with, like, the there's a special uh, group of rangers um, mm. that's in charge of, like, advanced security, and and it's their own chapter of the Arcana Pansophagal. Vexhalia, the queen here is one of the founding members of the Arcana Pansophago and a high-ranking member, just like, um, um, Allura. Allura. Thank you. My name, my brain blanked for a second, <laughs> like Allura. Allura, um, somebody named, uh, Keyleth of the Arashari and Vexali are the last few remaining members of the founders of the Arcana Pansophago. Uh, one of them just got taken out, and you have been working with the other yeah. um, few members nearby when, in celebration, like, hey, this is good. You, it, the guys that you came here with mm -hmm. and are and were celebrating with uh, made major stop. But unfortunately now, this, assassin, this ringing out of the assassination causes cha chaos and panic. And that's where you've been, that's to catch you up in your character. Mm. Um, 
Let me give you a proper introduction to this story where I want to take it from. Oh. Flashback. <sighs> Usterion uh, uh, is, is coming back with uh, the uh, embarred rifle in hand. You know, towed on his shoulder. <clears throat> and he approaches out in the day in the snowy daylight at night at night there is the uh the mysterious uh witch with groups of all her uh drow dressed in like black and veals and very creepy looking and very dark the music is ominous stare on she's dead we could this is what she gets for her. We're slowing us down. Uh, the witch. You're too impatient. Yeah, this is way ahead of schedule. We should strike now. While they're still in chaos. This is our best opportunity. Maria. This is a time. And the witch, having her, hearing her name spoken in the longest time lifts up her veil and you could now see her face a little bit clearer ancient feet ancient features dark a, a pale uh, no a pale skin her eyes are kind of old and shut and as she opens her eyes and starts there's like like a little bit of a flash and a sort of purplish flash in her eyes and her face her face fades and being replaced with a younger version of her this is a flashback to events of this witch's past. As she's looking out, screaming, like almost like in pain, screaming out, this scene is frozen. The camera takes in the rest of the features as she's like saying, no. The camera pans to show the remaining features. It's snowy as well. In the background, there's a Cthulhu-like monstrosity grabbing uh, a man uh, by the name of Carlos. The moment is frozen in time. In the background, there's uh, other members of the Arcana Pansophago, a much, much younger Alora throwing magic. Uh, chance is they're fighting. They're, this is uh, the ending to uh, a previous adventure, um, the Shards of Destiny. In that moment, her beloved, her husband, Carlos, from the dirt realm, gets ripped and torn. In anger, the camera starts moving now. Furious, no, no. And she starts moving towards the attack, grabbing these two gigantic weapons. In front of her appears Allura, much, much younger Allura. Says something, and the screen goes black. <sighs> Cut to. Later in time, Dark Cell, uh, she's in chains, Alora standing over, tell me, tell me everything you know, I want to know everything, no, where's Carlos, where's Carlitos, tell me everything, and she puts her hand on her, on Maria's head and just forces information out of her, torture, screaming, Shh. Cut to other moments in time. She's like frozen, like uh, in a comatose state. Allura, and older looking. Allura, once again, much older as well. And more interrogation time. And then in those moments of comatose, music shifts. Whispers. I can help you. You, you, you get revenge. <laughs> Cut to older, wizened, shriveled up. Uh, Maria, in a veil form. 
Fine. We will attack now. Fine. We will attack now. I know our route from the back. <laughs> Cut to. Music, you know, uh, tabletop theater, the goon squad, and then when we get back, you guys. It's post celebration, there's chaos on the streets. You all run towards like the center of town, just above near where the uh, um, tree of life, the the sun tree is Dar, Amala, Narissa, Rack, Bar, uh, somehow and have gathered close to this because near here is where the balcony is where uh, Vexalia was, and there's now guards swarming here. And here in all this chaos, you all get together here in between all this. Pardon me. What would you like to do? Holy shit, guys. They took out Vexalia. It had to be Wooster, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Wooster Ian. Yes, that's his, that's his no. new name. Wooster Ian. Woosterian. No, no. It's one of these very badly, like, you know, dub re you know, recorrections. You know, you can just... <laughs> yeah. do, it's like... We started, and no one realized, and then it's like, and it's quick with someone said, Ian, at the end. Yes. Booster Ian, then, yes. Um, you quickly make yourself up to, I mean, get to get to that, uh, you quickly get to the near that area where the guards are at, and they're, um, Narissa, you were the closest one. I want you to roll me another uh, perception check. Uh, with that vantage, actually, we should bring the thing. Uh, I didn't even need it. <laughs> As um, everybody else is like approaching and getting, getting towards her, you were already here, drawn by the original whispers, and in like uh. The camera cuts to you and everything is just like near sign the crowd is the crowd and, and weird the crowd is no longer bothering the sound of the crowd is no longer there it's just now just like a hauntingly slow and beautiful and and scary music at the same time as just little whispers are, are approaching you in and slow and you're just approaching this as a person that's unbothered by all these crowds unbothered by the sound except for this moment of Vexalia laying there and you see as her brother Vaxel Dan with shimmering with uh, feathers black feathered armor translucent because he's just uh, from a different realm and you can a only force see... ghost it's like a ghost yes he's the uh he is a champion for the Raven Queen. Trans she he helps they help transition souls. And he helps Vexalia up, sister. Stubby. Hey Stubby. It's time. And she now you can see now she's just young. Young as young version of of elvish half elvish half human dark hair both of them the twins reunited they touch and it's the music swells and she says well, well what about percy he's waiting for you she looks back children Bex. the children don't worry they'll be with you Soon enough. Ouch. When it's time. When it's time. He said, no, let me correct that. Less ominous. Don't worry. Yes, please. Don't do it again. <laughs> when it's time. But not now. Right now, it's time for you to meet 
and the scene fades off. In that chaos, um, you could see one of her, the old eldest daughter. Is it the eldest daughter? Let me double check. In the meantime, you all, you all while I do a little bit of research, um, take over the scene. I don't know, react to fucking, you know, you're all together now. Do shit. I don't know. <laughs> Actor. <laughs> Cut to do, do, do shit. I'm, I'm starting. That, that, that's quite. That's quite broad. <laughs> there, okay, I, wander, I wander over to the outhouse and I take a dump. There, I did shit. Oh, <laughs> I'm the worst at this. I'm the worst at this. <laughs> what was it that I was looking at? Okay, give me a second. I'm looking for. Okay. There it is. Chamber of Whitestone. Uh, well, Scar, mm -hmm. Scar's mouth just like dropped. And she starts looking around to see where the shots or whatever occurred happened. I think. And, and so she's trying to see. You know, trying to figure out, you know, logistically, um, best fair. where I think it came from 3.2 kilometers that way. Um, um, why don't why don't you roll me a as a group as like a perception check to look around to see what's what's going on? And I've got everything, I got all my information that I need now. Pack is middle of digging his nose. I'm not when this with happens. them, correct? <laughs> no, everybody's all together now. Okay. Everybody has arrived and is surrounding. Um, there's guards surrounding Mixalia. Somebody's checking in, saying that they're dead. There you see uh, Vesper, the the eldest daughter that you had that was introduced to you. Blonde, blonde hair, long blue eyes, um, half elven, half human, but more human looking. Um, you can barely tell the elven features there. It looks like a super, super young version of Allura, but with a more masculine and more regal face. If you could, um, is taking charge and pointing. Let's see, with those perception checks, Armalat for sure. You point out in you point out in the in in like that general area. Uh, some some guards were like looking there with your perception. You could see like there was glint of something of movement happening and with that sort of a role this woman uh the eldest daughter vesper pulls out this little device and makes it elongated it is a thing that she could look through the camera point goes to her point of view of what she's looking through and she could see in the far off distance uh wusterion and with a few of his troops and and preparation and 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 preparation for things and uh vesper says they're attacking and she starts giving out commands to the general uh and uh to the general for uh protection i got you my lady <clears throat> um she t Vesper walks up to to Armalad. I need you to. I need you to protect the Ziggurat. They're going for it. Not not behind the red door. The one we're not supposed to go through. Yes. We'll send the. Uh, <laughs> we'll we'll uh we'll help send somebody to guide you through it. Mm. With that, like um, unless there's is there, and with that she turns back and starts giving out giving out commands. Um, is there? You guys have any questions at this moment? Um. Was the ziggurat not near? Not near here. It was, uh, 
She I starts. Believe- um, she starts saying, "Now, where's F- Frederick? Uh, Frederick, can you show them where?" And one of the helper servants says, "So uh, he's he's not she's he's not around. Uh, we can't find him." What? And Vesper says, uh, "I'll help guide you. Help guide help guide them. Uh, f- follow me. I'll, I'll show you where to go." Um, where is uh, Frederick? Oh. Actually, cut to evil glint in Carlos's eye. Yeah, Frederick. The zoom in on that. Uh, Frederick uh, is is outside by like some sort of uh, uh, castle wall. There's he's on grass. Uh, seems to be having a, a, a cigarette smoke break. <laughs> when from the so shadow, we do mean okay. Uh, a few drow, those uh, the few the the drow ladies all in, in black, uh, veils the uh, sort of uh, chant in magical based ones that that do all the chanting and shit. They start moving forward, followed by Maria and her black veil, and uh, quickly Frederick. Pff, Puts down his cigarette. A lady, mistress. There's a greenish glint in his eyes as, as well as like you could tell to hint of possession. Right. Come this way. The Dorolos have an old uh, childhood passageway that I know about. I'll get you through the ziggurats. Cut back to you guys. You remember uh, she's trying to um, this new servant. Let's call. Uh, let's call her Allie. Allie. Allie is a good name. Oh, okay. Allie is a very good name. Alicia or Ali for short. Alicia or Ali for short. Um. She's nervously like uh, in the like the kitchen area. You nervously you're in the kitchen area where you all had breakfast a long, long time ago, and you remember seeing this red door. She's uh, doing nervously unlocking a series of these doors. Um, and uh, there's 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 many traps here. I, I can help disable through through most through most of these. Uh, through most of these. Uh, the cigarette has been the cigarette in the past when powered correctly uh, was used to attempt to bring back somebody from a different realm. From what Lady Vexalius, sir? And with that, her face sullen for a second. This is the likeliest target. Our in- her intels suggest that this is where they're going for. Oh. Uh, and with that, um, she helps trying to guide you. From you, this point forward, I would like... Can I ask her to make sure she rearms the traps after we get past? Sure, absolutely. Yes. Done and done. In fact, why don't we do like a group thing to get through this uh, tunnel. Uh, We'll do a, uh, we need three successes. The DC is not too difficult, 15. The DC is 15. You guys uh, give me an ability or somehow with a spell, if you use a spell, I'll give you advantage on a roll, but you tell me how you're navigating through this series of mazes and workshop area and sectioned off area that leads to a ziggurat, an underground area of power. Well, right. of you do assume we have spells. <laughs> <laughs> we are the goon squad, after all. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> this is true. Um, uh, I'm going to tr- suggest um, acrobatics. 
All right, you're going to... Damn it, that was what I was thinking. There's a section... I was thinking the athletics. Uh, that's For what me. I was thinking, too. <laughs> athletics. Right. One of you. Uh, first off, let's go with acrobatics. Armalad, you're, you're the lead person. Okay. You, you, you're you one If somebody else wants to do acrobatics, I could do stealth. You could, you could probably get away with using perception as well. Just spotting um, where we need to go. Narissa was going to do Thieves Camp to see if anything was done in Thiever. Yeah. If it's like if there's like writing or anything. Yeah, writing along the wall. Uh, but is it something you could roll and give me a 15 or above? I don't, I don't think so. That. No, I think, it's, I think it's just if there is stuff there. It might be a perception check, mm. but I like what you're going with this. Okay, so yeah. which one would you like me to do, Wooster? I can... Uh... Like uh, acrobatics, insight, perception, and stealth are all the same. Uh, well, I'm so guessing we have other do? people with good uh, good acrobatics, but not other people with good dexterity. We have other people good with stealth. So okay, but, so okay, I'll do perception then. Uh, all right, so you're 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 helping with a fifteen. That's good. Wait, no, that's stars. I, I haven't now. rolled yet. You hmm. haven't rolled yet. 20. 20. Fantastic. First success. Uh, you're able to visually spot a lot of the things. First off, the first thing that you spot is that where um, Ali goes to disable certain things, you notice, wait, something's, and you notice, wait, something's different. You haven't disabled everything. Frederick has set up other traps in their place, and you were able to spot that. That he f has betrayed Vexalia and has been setting up traps here and there as well. So, that's a success number one. Who's next? I, I want to roll a history check because remember, I've got the whispers. So, of course, I'm going to be able to. And oh, and besides that, do you have that one ability that you can basically. Yeah, that's why I just hit, hit into history. <laughs> All right, do it. Roll it. Natural. Uh Duck. <laughs> Pepsi Max time. I mean, oh, no, no, it was a different session. Right. I want to say that 2D20, uh, not, not 2D20, sorry, 2D4 does not condone um, bestiality of any kind. They've Fantastic. No ducks role. were that harmed. A... <laughs> <laughs> that is a fantastic roll, and that natural 20 gets you two victories, making a three. So with those whispers, the music shifts into it's more like dangerous. And you can see in the background, everything's like lighting up blues and and uh, and yellows. And they're saying, ah, start it, start it, start it. Yeah. This way, this way. Trap, 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 trap. They like guide you through all the traps and they whisper to you information that. Um, yes, they're on their way. It's starting. They're already, it's, they pre-set up. You're, you may get there in time. And there's like an urgency to these whispers. And, you, and, and because of the natural 20, you now hear the queen's voice, Vexalia. And you say, you hear her say, stop them. Stop her. And with that scene, you eat, you quickly come to a uh, kind of decide which one of these two locations to fight in. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That I, I always thought it would be really cool if we were actually the people who were first there and could surprise other people. To attack them as opposed to us. Yeah, but we already did that last episode. We literally <laughs> did that last episode. Yes. I mean, that's how you got. No, no, them. I meant set up on defense as opposed to. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we are, we are the ones getting assaulted, but we get some time to prepare the defense. Maybe you know that's actually that's actually the uh, another story. That's the story of the Seven Samurai, and I like to run mm. it, but it's a very special thing that I'm waiting to run with all of you. As the oh. seven samurai, so we that is a possibility, but um, we'll get yeah, 
I Nick, think we yeah, actually yeah. need yeah. to get Whimsy and Sim back for that because it's we don't just... need all seven. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that story has been told many times. We'll get into it in a whole different yeah. thing. But the, the, anyway, but, technically, but other I... than Dar, we're all level seven, so that we could be the seven samurai. Yeah, but I was thinking more of a smaller scale setting up defenses, like toppling some tables or, or something like that. Like, okay, you got five minutes to set up your defenses instead of you got five days to set up your defenses. I, I know, I know. All right, <laughs> well, moving on because yeah. None of that's okay. happening because we're at the pay the heavy price. Ow. I thought okay. we did that last week. Everything okay. is a no. Okay. In fact, when I'm going to lose my bunny slippers, I'm going to die. <laughs> Has he not lost them yet? Nope. No, no they're no. magical bunny slippers, and they're they're awesome. They're the best bunny slippers ever. They make him jump insane and insane ability and makes, lets him do something ridiculously awesome. And um, ski on snow. Cut to. Cut to. Uh, you're, you're going through here with the natural 20. Those whispers are guiding you perfectly into a, a new area. And you can already see. Um, hmm. Yeah. Let's. You can see. Uh, <laughs> That doesn't light sound tunnel, good. Light from a tunnel up ahead. And um, you see light from a tunnel up ahead, and it's a mixture of like green flashing back and forth, green with uh, purple and reddish. And as you approach, um, you, as you approach the first one through, there is rack. And next fact, let's, let me just. Let's just go to the battle map scene so I could show you all we're, what we're seeing. That's a good point. That's a very good point. And let's arrange that. Because we're about to start breaking shit down. <laughs> we'll change the screen as soon as we get the battle map on. No, 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 no. Go ahead and put it uh, uh, yes, very I well. Don't. I'll change it right now. Here we go. Here we go. Done and done. This way you can preset how to set it up. Oh no, not these things we have to blow up again. This is. Ah, Babeg, the big bad evil guy. Lusterian, the BBEG. Um, and because we have Dar. Big bad enormous bad guy. Mm. I actually just wanted one day that the the BBG is actually just a big beggar. You know, he just he's just going, come on, can you just let me win for once? Breaks balls, so, um, eats greedily. What? No, no, that's not it. The at the top, at the top, there is a door. Uh, imagine whatever that rocky era it doesn't. It's really a door frame uh there you see uh wisterion has the cut to before you even get here cut to um maria her many drow followed by frederick kind of like in a dreamish state he says we'll need a sacrifice of course <gasps> and, and um Ah, Frederick. <laughs> she, she. Um, it's the bunny slippers, don't you know? <laughs> we, we're, we're staring. At, they're moving, and and uh, Maria stops. They're coming. Make sure we stop them. And we're staring. Uh, gets gets his like a uh, metallic arm ready, and and it like flexes open. And um, sort of like a greenish energy uh, uh, glows in them. All right, I'll be ready. And he said, I'll stop them, but make sure that I get my toys. Uh, and with that, she moves ahead and he starts turning back. And as you guys enter in the room there at the very far end is Wisterion flanked by two of his uh, by two or more because there might be hidden more um 
of his soldiers. N nearby is these glowing um, things that are part of this ritual that's already started. Uh, that's already started. And um, this is at like the foot base area leading up to the ziggurat. But this, you feel like the energy and thing, energy and magic swarming here. The two things in the corners um, that are glowing green, it's an iridium, a box with iridium and these arcane things and, and uh, arcane golden carved things. And it's like uh, swirling in what looks like electrical energy, except that it's purplish electrical energy and it's skim this glow. Wisterin uh, moves forward. <laughs> You've been a thorn in my thigh for far too long. Thorn in my side. A thorn in my long. side? Thorn in my side. I said it wrong. Cut. Let's retake that. Lisp. You've got a lisp now. Um, by the, by the way, Wooster's character is missing. Huh? No, I'm, I'm there. Missing. No, no, Dar is... Where, where? Uh, Dar is missing, Dar. yes. Oh. Dar, give me one second. Yeah. Because, again, I wasn't expecting oh, right. Dar, but I can bring him back in a few. I, I can disappear you. if you want. That will make it no, easier. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just have you in a different um, mm -hmm. section. There you keep go. forgetting I have you super glued to your chair. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't believe. Uh... There you go. <laughs> Ruck. Uh, what's your HP? Uh, oh, you found... Oh, yeah, me. All right. Okay, cool. So, um, Wisteron uh, looks at these glowing things. Uh, in preparation, uses his glove, his his uh, armored metallic Beckner hand, and his other reaches out, and these swirling energy reaches and envelops him in like this glowing greenish shield. Now I'm very armored, and he's. He is armored in tactical SWAT gear. It's all black. It it's uh has a few um carved and glowing runes on it. Um, this big black helmet with again runes. Almost everything is both glowing on him at this point, and he's radiating this energy like this. This so so he's larping so he's larping as arcane Batman, got it. Right. Rack, um, I th think. Did you wanna? Did you wanna make a a, th a, a cut to rack first? Well, obviously he's going to be going. Fight it out. Towards Wooster, like uh, are, are we not doing initiative first? Um, you know what? I'm gonna see where this goes. Uh, well, with, yeah, yeah, he, he is not slowing down. He, he's gonna go for it, like rage on with the bunny shoes full on, everything. Yeah, full everything on, just jumping into the air all the way up uh, up to the uh, roof limit, go, uh, turning sideways and rotating like three Fantastic. three times against the roof. Like right next to the roof, then coming down like Whoosh! fantastic. He reaches out his hand, still glowing. Ooh. And as you're coming up in midair in slow motion, oh, buddy, he had these two things, both hands prepped, glowing with full on energy. You're the first thing to come across. Good. Flares out these two necrotic beams right at you um okay. with a prepared spell oh boy this is this is definitely going to start off um this is definitely going to start off the the battle but let me resolve this first because you could do this before you even land a hit as a reaction hey deep having just prepped this here uh, we okay. go. There we go. Uh, do I need to roll something? No, yes. 
I'm going to cast both of these at level 7. Oh? That's okay. You might be able to... DC 14 index to the same. Okay. You're you're raging though, right? Yep. All right. Let's see. Uh... Oh, I I don't save. That's like one point away from saving. Okay. Oof. Well, what's your um? It's necrotic, so that gets halved. Yeah, that gets halved. Yeah, necrotic gets halved. It's uh... so that's uh, 152 halved is 153 halved, so 75. 75. 76. What's your what's your HP at now? No, no, uh, 75 because it gets. Oh yeah, 70... 76. 77. 76. Oh yeah, 76. 76. Yeah. 76. So okay. that's 98 minus 76. That leaves me 22 hit points. Oh, well, that was number one. What? I said he had put two of them. Yes, he did. In fact, uh, here, here the yeah. So let's. Let's uh, let's do the next. Again, DC. Well, I save. That's good. Thank God. So half of one twenty four is sixty two, and that halved is thirty one, which takes me to zero. <laughs> I have twenty two oh, hit points shit. left. So. Hey, I just balanced the game. No, you did not, because because Scar sees what's happening to Rack, and she's getting pissed. So she's starting to rage, and I know we're not in initiative the order. The target is but... disintegrated if this damage leaves it within zero hit points. Maybe. Um... Uh, yep, yep. Uh, nice yep. knowing you, Rack. Yep, the Rack is poof. <laughs> The, the, there's not even a corpse that lands. There's just there's a bunny slippers. Yeah. No, no. All you see is bunny slippers coming no. down. No, the me the metallic, the the clink 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 of a few things of armor and the the halberd. <laughs> ah. Um. Hey, I killed somebody. <laughs> that's a thing that happened. All right. Okay. Oh, shit. That's disintegrate. Oh, cool. I've yeah, I'll Holy. Yeah, okay, so. do you have a backup? No. <laughs> you know what? I didn't expect to get a 200 hit points worth of damage in a round. You know what? It's a nasty thing. It, it gets even worse because we're worth the pay the heavy price. I get an idea. You know what? The, just because I hate for you to sit out the entire fight, how about I give you control of Wisterion? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> I need to put the hat on. Okay, now I don't feel so bad. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. John, what level are you at the moment? Oh, oh I was there six. I, I was originally meant to be five. <laughs> there, oh, he's still thought... here. Go up he's seven. Still at five. Still five. Level seven. Level seven, boy. Yeah. yeah go ahead, go ahead I, and level I, up. Go ahead and level yeah, up. Yeah, put up to level seven. There. All right, fine, good. Uh -huh. That's fine. It's bueno. Because yeah, I just made things harder. Apparently, yeah. so you just put on hard. Apparently, can I have my fucking bucket now? How do you cast two spells on the same turn? So, um, Rack, I'm going to put uh... your initiative. Uh, I'm just gonna roll your initiative. That's not. If he's good, a warlock, keep uh, not keep uh, uh, warlock Rack sorcery is point. No longer. I mean Wusterion. Yeah, why don't, oh, why don't you change your name to Wusterion? Do you want us to do initiative now? Yeah. Yes, please. I would like. For, oh, 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 oh. Well, hang on. Uh, make sure to um. Click on your character yeah. before you hit yeah, the initiative. Your character before you do. I need to actually change my character. Yes, because I can't use that one anymore. So everybody gets a view of Wusterion for a few seconds while I swap over. There we go. Hey, where's my character? Yeah, this is... <laughs> do, 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 so, do. what did you think of that?
So I did click on myself, but it apparently didn't do anything. Oh no no! Click on yourself and then uh, select yourself and then click on your um initiative. initiative. That's what I did. I may have just deleted it. So would you mind doing it again? Sure. Um, I rolled a twenty. I don't want to do it again. All right, never mind. I'll, I'll I rolled it. a twenty two. I rolled a twenty three that time. Well, you can always just change it. So there you go. And it was a natural. I'm just well, I'm just can, waiting for one of us to accidentally can, roll like a D100 go I rolled a hundred. I could fix Only it in a still with us in spirit. Oh, sorry that uh, I had it's the wrong get, name. It's getting lower selected. each time I roll it. There you go. It's getting lower. Let's get well, I dangerous. Can roll my so I'm just gonna roll a D20 right now. Eleven. Eleven. All right. So. Uh, uh, Power Lab, Hysterion is a 16. Uh, okay, so uh, the first time was your first initiative, Nerissa, was a 17. And Dar is a 13, good. Uh, Armalad's a 15. 20. 20 was my first one. 20 was your first one, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Right, so, and Nerissa and Dar. Scar. A natural 20 for a 22. Yeah, good. And we stay around. Got Too bad a... we didn't have soda for someone to drink. <laughs> for that, you're going down first, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Screw this. Come on. So happy I don't drink soda. Oh, another bad guy just showed up. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to proc my character, my thug, to come up, and it's not letting me, and I don't know why. Yeah, there's so you can, like, for that. click on your th thug for the initiative? Yeah, I can. <laughs> so anyways, um, top of the round is going to be, let me restart this. Top of the round. Um, da -da -da -da. Scar. Uh, first off, this guy, yeah, disintegrate totally. Goodbye, Rack. <laughs> Scar, you know, you're up. Put back on the rack. Yeah. What would you like? Okay, so so she sees what happens to to rack, and she's like, uh, "Oh, rage!" And she is going to find her character on the map. Let me get to it. And how, where's that measuring thing? How far am I to? You can reach to... this guy in 40 feet, but you, you, you're 50 feet from Wusterian and so you 45 can, feet from the can other reach Wusterian, you just can't harm Wusterian. Yes. Way. Unless you throw something at him. Finally. Okay, so what's going to end up happening is that she is going to run up and um, to how far away is Wisterian from her? 55 feet? Yes. Or 50 feet? Yes. Uh, 50 feet. Yeah, 50 feet. Okay, so she's going to run over to this guy here because she's so, so pissed. And she is going to, as I said, she's going to rage, go up to this guy. Oh, I'm measuring from the wrong person. Well, no, yeah. you're measuring from Dar. Yeah, yep, that was me. Oh, okay. So, so she's gonna... um, I think with your, I think your, if you use your action... You can run and double your movement, uh -huh. but you won't be able to attack. Yeah, or you, you can get to this guy and attack. Yeah. Yes, the one she's at, she yeah. moved to. Okay, she yeah. can. All right. Yeah. yeah, and I am going to attack. I've got, already got my hand, my, my um. Battleaxe. Oh yeah. Oh, and she is going to basically. That will be a no. Probably no. not. 
It will be a no, yes. <laughs> and then her second should hit. Actually, the first 11. one might have hit. Ten? Really? No, the first one missed. Uh, the, so the second, second one's an one, eleven. Yeah, the second one hits. Yeah. Their AC eleven. Okay. No. Uh, total of thirteen. Yeah. And she <clears throat> puts this guy between her and Wusterian. So, um, like this. So that if the guy, if Wusterian decides that he wants to, sh okay. he's going to take out one do of have, his own. Do you have? People. Do you have that much? If you have that much movement, go for it. No, you don't. Okay. You don't. You used yeah, all your movement to get there. So you have to be right, one but... step below. Yeah. You can take the slot, the one to your right, but that's it. Now, if she's got one more movement space, she could go to the corner if she wants. No, she, she doesn't. She doesn't. doesn't. That's the point. Yeah. She can reach yeah, so that one button not the, the end of your turn. I think that's the absolute movement yeah. end. I think you can move anymore. So okay. And I don't think I'm gonna allow you to move him. So that's the end of your turn. I can Marmalab, move him. And then Narissa, you are up. I can move that guy. Um. Oh, yeah, Narissa's up. No, I'm up actually. No. I believe I'm at, there is some. I'm at 20. If you look at the turn order, I'm at 20. Thank you. Um, reach anybody. Oh, no, because her original rule was a 17, not a 23. That's why. Her original was a 17. I'm going gotcha. to I'm going to give uh, Scar her wish. I'm going to go over here. Oops. That's the ruler thing. I'm gonna go over here with 45 of my 50 move. Um, and I'm gonna beat this guy. Well, mm, maybe not. If well, 11 oh, hits, 12. If 11 should. hits, then 12 should hit. Yeah. What? That's a, yes. Yep. Not a lot of armor. That's uh, not their purpose. Four or five bludgeoning. <laughs> and there's that crusher thing. Uh, once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack that deals bludgeoning damage, you can move it five feet to an unoccupied space, providing the target is no more than one size larger than you. When you yeah. score a critical hit that deals bludgeoning damage to the creature, attack rolls against that creature are made with advantage to the start of your next turn. Okay. Um, yes. Then I'll use the other five of my movement so I can get my second attack in. Um, right. This is going to be there. easy for me. I'll there. have to do manage. There. See it? There you go. Gar, I got him in the, in the right spot for you. Uh, awesome. 25. For nine bludgeoning. And I will spend a looking pretty hurt. E point. Very hurt. Yeah, but I want him to stay alive long enough so that he's there sorry. as a shield. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I can't guarantee that. N Narissa, it's okay. 14. That hits. Nine. Narissa, that I'm not Narissa. Oh. Okay. That sure. knocks him out. Mama said, "Knock you out." Well, I could hit him again, knock but uh... you out. I love you, Narissa. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this map brought to you by Fantasy Atlas, not by Two Minute Tabletop as normally. Anyways, moving on. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Narissa, you're up, and Wusterion and me. And my thugs are up. Afterwards. Well, Narissa is going to be a smart aleck and drop darkness on Scar and Armalad. Ooh. Click on the spell for me, please, and I'll draw the circle. Actually, it should be black.
15 foot radius, so 30 foot diameter. Yeah, so 15 foot radius is what, like mm -hmm. that? So it is about six by six squares around circle. Six squares wide. No, not there. It's on us. No, I know, but Just I can move the circle. That's close enough, yeah. I'm oh, darn it. Okay, I'm trying to click the move thing instead of the circle thing. All right. I'm giving oh, okay. them. I'm, I'm trying to give them a barrier between them and Wisteria because if Wisteria is going to shoot disintegration, he's going to have to do. You trying to do that? You're, are you trying to do this then? Basically, yeah. Uh, oh, it would be accompanying both of them. Do you want them in or out of the darkness? I want them at the edge of between. I want it in between both Wisteria and them. They'd have to be exactly like this. This is the end, and he'd have to be starting to be covered by it. Okay. Or you can okay. move it up a little up and to the right if you want. That way we're on the edge and he's in it. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Um that's Narissa's turn. Uh I was also gonna move. All right. Wisterion, be a, uh did you see your other cool features that I gave you? <laughs> I see a lot of cool features, yeah. You see but one a... uh, called uh, Legendary Stuff. Oh, shit. <laughs> what does that mean? Legendary Actions. It means that he, he has so many legendary actions a turn, and he can take that when it's not. So as long as no one starts their turn, he can go, you know what? I'm going to do a Legendary Action. I think for balance, now that... John is here. I may have to do two of them. Hmm. Let's see. Nah, no, that's cool. So I'm going to take an action. Well, it's your turn anyway. Yeah, uh, so... Yeah, but I'm going to have to do actions. But, but, but that's not his legend. It doesn't be oh. his legendary action. It'll be like he takes his turn, like, ends it, and he just goes, just before dark at any, starts. At any time, you could take a turn. Yeah. 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 Well, he can take an action, um, not an entire legendaries. Turn. It's a way of instead of you like going, oh, it's to make bosses a wee bit nasty instead of you just trying to meta mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. distract mm -hmm. you from fighting a boss. It's to make it a bit more unpredictable. Mm -hmm. I think and you know one, what two, is that? Three, how he cast four, the uh, the three, two spells three, on the same four. turn? You know what? Um, we're going to change oh. it to two legendary actions for right now until certain hidden criteria. That would be a little bit nasty. Not necessarily if he's a source, uh, if he's a war, uh, it's a kind of thing. Oh, I can't move. If you, if you, if you can spend, oh, I, can. I think uh, if you, I can't remember which class it has it. If it's uh, the sorcery points, if you can spend the sorcery you points, also have, uh, three tele you also have with Steren, by the way, you also have three teleports. That you but Wusteren is going to just march out of the darkness here. He knows they're about there, so he's going to cast a circle of our effect over there. I'm going to tell you which spell it is by clicking this little button over here. Jeez. Ice storm. Yeah. Think of getting hit with hail. A lot less oh, painful than disintegrate. Yeah. Disintegrate is a nasty one, but it... Oh, it only works against one's person. This works against anyone in the area. So, so uh, let's my, my... Make a dexterity saving throw for all of you, please. All Apart three of you. Me. Uh Da and uh, luckily for him, yeah. was too far away from the rest of you having not moved. Um which uh saving throw? Dexterity. Dexterity? Yeah. That's two failures so far? <laughs> Ooh, nothing said. happens. Mm. Uh, there's don't. one effect that you can't avoid, but that's 
that's okay. So let's click on the. Uh, I I think you. I think on your attack, there's a button that might proc the damage. Yeah, it, it is. Did uh, seven it. bludgeoning and fourteen cold to damage. Oh, did I just miss it? Oh, yeah. there it is. Okay. All right. So there it is. Yeah, above. Okay. So obviously Narissa um, saves, but Scar and Armalad fail. And I take half damage because of evasion. I would have taken no damage if I'd saved. Because oh, actually, reasons. just a second. Just a second. Can I boost my saving? Click on it so we on? can read it. And it teaches uh, oh. the audience. Um, no, you're just taking half damage. Yeah, if you would have, if you would have saved, you would have taken, or you would have taken nothing, zero, nothing. Uh, and only half damage um, if you fail. So he only yes. gets half damage. Yeah, I, I, I have it right here with evasion. Yeah, I just already clicked. Cool. All right. All right. So uh, adjust your health accordingly. And my guy is turned, so he's going no, to No, it's not. See. Wait, 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 wait. I have, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. So, wait. You know, going. back up a minute. I I still have a question about this. So how much damage do I take? Because you... of bludgeoning, you take half bludgeoning. Also, some of you have oh, right. cold stuff, right? Oh, yes, I have resistance to cold. So I would have had... Uh... I would have had advantage. advantage on that saving throw, so the 27 means I save. The vast majority of... Except not no, 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 you have a resistance to cold, which means you just take half damage here. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. right, exactly. It takes the, the, fa the vast majority of... Scar, time out. Time out. Scar, Scar takes you... 17 points of damage. Yeah. 17? 17. Okay. Yeah, because you're raging, you take half of only the bludgeoning, Legion. basically. Yeah. That's what I was okay. about to say. Is the vast majority of barbarian types is it's only bludgeon, um, piercing or slashing that they have. Like I think the only one that gives you like resistance against most damage types is totem warrior, and that's going through bear. Was there any anything else you'd like to? Uh... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I anything would like to cast the next spell. Half and then half again. So three, it's the same three, action. Six. Oh no, not the same action. This is legendary action. action, huh? Yeah, that's the legendary action. I'm gonna use it this round at this point. I'm gonna do this I'm gonna take spell. This stone away. Let's see. Invisibility. Fantastic. And Vesterian vanishes from the map. Can you hide me from everyone but the players? Uh actually I can. You know what? I can. Um Everyone but the players. But you won't be able to can you still see where you're at? Uh, I cannot, but I don't. I don't care. Just book me somewhere. Go hang on. I, so I should. I, I should have twenty feet of movement. Technically, we can see his name still. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, I can't see my name though. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. It's underneath you know the square this, thing. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this right here. Make okay. it easier. Um, we're just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna just gonna move you off screen, and then later on you move yourself. I'm gonna put where you last were uh -huh. as a little box. X. <laughs> yeah. X basically. marks the spot. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm mentally den denoting where I am. Uh -huh. All right. Well, then, um, all right, so my dude is going to just uh, only see Dar, and he's going to take his automatic weapon and start firing at you with uh, two attacks. Nope. So shit's going crazy. He's unprepared. Um and he's just firing out blindly. Um next turn. So let's see those Narissa, Thug, Wisterian. Next is Dar. Followed by uh Scar top of the round with Scar. All right. I'm going to take uh, this phone away unless there's stuff that happens there. You can take the pink circle away. Yeah, that's what I think. Oh, no, that, that storm is still there. Is but, it? Yeah. yeah, it leaves the area as difficult terrain. Four, five. Oh. Six. Uh, I am yep, there. Sure does. The duration is instantaneous, so. Mm. It's no, no, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's, until that's how it the happens. end of my next turn, so that would be next round. Oh, okay. 
Good I'm call. then going to use my fire, fire breath on the guy in front of me. All right. And, and hopefully Wooster will be in the way. So... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Sorry, Ian. And my guy will do a thing. Because I think yeah. I have to evade or some shit. Yeah, yeah. It's a deck save. Deck save? All yeah. right. Do I have any? No, I don't. Okay. So it's just plus one. I fail. Yeah. Uh, is damage increases? 2d6 damage. Nope, 3d6. 3d6 at level 6 and above. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's. Three D six minus thirteen. Um, that hurt. Mm-hmm. Not gonna lie, he hates it. He's on You're fire. Fired. You're fired. Fire bad <laughs> for dwarves or for humanish. This is a human. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Next, is there anything else you'd like to do? Do you have rage as well? Wait, you're not one of those guys, are you? No, I'm a fire. I'm a fire. Anything else you want to do? Yep, that's everything. He's All raged right. anyway, but turn, turn, top of the round. Um, Scar, me, top of the top of the round. Hang on, because you're in this magical air effect, and there's um at this moment there's a slight shift as you start feeling things and there's the music swells in the background things are happening and with this slight shift uh whereas uh things start falling from the ceiling this these blocks here break down as these columns start falling apart um i want everybody to roll me a Dexterity saving throw to stay balanced. Of and course. to avoid stuff. Huh. Oof. Oof. Armalad. Min max. I Min actually max. made it. Armalad went minimum and maximum with the same roll. That's nice. Too bad they're in the opposite order. <laughs> well, um, um, first off, you fall prone as something. A rock wait, wait, wait! What is the dexterity saving throw? The room is shaking and things are starting to fall from above. As but what do we, we have to? We're pass? trying to stay in our feet. Oh, oh you mean what's the DC? The DC okay. is thirteen. I made it. Yes, yes. Sorry, I, I was about to say the only people that failed it is Narissa, Armalad, and Dar. So and more than half of us. And what about the bad guys? Oh, my bad guys? Yep. Yeah. Um, it's a fake to name, surely. Sure. Who's Shirley? Who's Don't call me Shirley, you mean? Yeah, that too. Oh, shit. Let's see. Uh, give me a second here. That's from Airplane. I'm trying to... I've not actually yes. seen Airplane. <gasps> That's a great classic not, movie. I've only seen parts of it. I've never actually watched it all the way through. That's not it. Come on. My character is doing that thing again where it's not coming up. All right, let me... Well, Why? that one didn't make it. <laughs> no, that's not it. I'm I'm trying to... I was trying to click something different and see if that worked. That didn't. Um, let's see. Bring him back. I literally just have one character on here. I don't know why. It's becoming so difficult to keep him running. There it is. Okay. Dexterity saving throw. Motherfucker. 20. He saves. All right. So, you the damage... so only two of us saved. Yeah. Um, yeah or if you can't. Yeah, Wusterian saved. You rolled a 20. Yeah. The uh, damage is minimal as it's only nine bludgeoning damage as, as a piece of rock falls down and knocks you prone. So, you are prone. Um, and though, and uh, I think Armalab takes half damage of nine, so four. Oh, uh-huh. But you are prone at the moment, uh-huh. and that is the top of the round. Scar, you are next. What would you like yes. to do, Scar? Yes, I'd like to make I a wanna... suggestion. That that green square with the purple lightning around it. Can you try and take that out? 
because that's powering something. Mm. You got a command from your from your uh, from the leader. A command. A suggestion. No, a suggestion. That's different. <laughs> um, well, technically, you're used to the military getting commands, but you can interpret it either way. No, no, no. She's not. You said a suggest. You said a suggestion. Scar, top of the round. What would you like to do? Okay, so Hold. what is this round circle up at the top? Hold. Wisterion wants to take a second legendary action. I can do this once per round. I'm going to take it. So first of all, I'm going to be calling twice. in. It was twice. So this is going to. Twice total. Total. Uh... Twice, per... twice per round total for right now until I say shenanigans. It doesn't matter. Uh, right. Take it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Right. So I can do it twice per round. Okay. So. Bravo team! In the uh, bravo team! Bravo! <laughs> uh, bravo team! Advance! Fire as well. Mrs. This White will reveal yourself. Oh, it will reveal my position by announcing where I am by voice, but not my exact location because invisibility does not wear off unless I do something hostile. Which I, I even say that is hostile. That is hostile. It's, it's, it's... Perhaps to you. But what I am doing is not an attack. It is a command to my troops. Usterion? <laughs> Usterion, if this is a spell attack, it's a spell attack. If they have to stroll the DC and take damage, this is going to reveal you. No, yeah, it's not gonna it's not it's not going to co it's not me causing them damage with my spell. It's me calling in backup. And right. and a, a new Amount of a uh, new bunch of troopers arrives into the scene. Uh, let me see. It's uh, it's a okay. summon. It's a summoning spell. Okay. It's uh, it's third level. It's my third spell on Perfect. the third level list. Perfect. I'm not gonna. Perfect. Perfect. I'm not going to reveal details to these people yet at this point. So All you right. can check my spell list on the third third one. There. I, I don't think I could. Uh... But uh, lucky for you, lucky it's for a them. Spell. Yeah. Invisibility. Yeah. Invisibility no. and for target. That attacks or casts a spell. If it's a spell, yeah. it ends. Yeah. Anything you're, not invisible invisible anymore. you're not invisible anymore. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you the cast spell ends for a target that attacks. I... Oh, it's been nerfed from third edition. Okay, never mind. Oh, well, then do it anyway. All right. So, so, so where is he? Poof. Reveal you. Um, you're. I see him now. Is that? And uh, can you give me some troopers? Yeah. Like, uh, uh, how many of these guys do you want? Uh, how many? Oh, does show? let me see. Let me see the spell. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna give you some more. Do, 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 do. What's the details? There it is. Can, can uh, we just make it a random generator of what he actually generates? How many and what he pulls? <laughs> oh no, it's pulls pulls exactly. I'm gonna have to roll roll this. Uh, how many <laughs> troopers I get? <laughs> Could you just imagine that he just pulls, he summons like a hundred rabbits? Fifteen. What? Yeah, fifteen. But uh, eight is gonna be enough. Just, just to keep it fair. Just put them somewhere in here. They will, they will be. Uh, yeah, Absolutely. they, they come from here. So uh, that's a good, yeah, good legacy for them. All right, not those. Okay, I think. This round they so won't be acting, actually, they are wrong. Actually, these guys here are kind of strong. I, these I guys think... here are a little bit stronger. Let's make them come in from here. Yeah. Right. I, I, okay, uh, I think this is us welcoming a TPK. Yep, You're fighting the I big said. bad evil guy, yeah? Uh -huh. So, um... It's my turn. Yes. yes. Okay, so I want to take out, I'm not going to be able to take out Wisterian, but I can stop what the hell is going on. And um, I, how long is the circle in effect of darkness? I have can concentration. I can get dropped. 
What? Concentration that can be dropped. Yeah, until Marissa says so. Uh-huh. Or Sorry, she takes uh, an injury. You can um, decide when, ever. And I say to Narissa, it's like, Narissa, drop it. It's not doing anything anymore. We have a plan. The camera focuses in. You have a plan in mind. You drop the thing, have it dropped. And then what's up? Finish. Are you going to destroy those things? Yes, I'm going to destroy the things. Roll me. Uh, I'm going to move you over there. I'm going to try to. And roll me That's, to attack. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it with um, a stick. Do you want to roll this with advantage with, you know, uh, by rolling uh, recklessly. recklessly? Recklessly. Well, it's probably not going to attack back, yeah. but. Yeah, I'll do it recklessly. Fuck yeah. And, and um... that hits. Didn't that it. hits Didn't with advantage. It. Roll me damage on both of them. Smash, smash. 20 total. This one here with a little bit of like a, almost like a. Pfft, it fizzles out and almost does like this little explosive flourish thing that blinds you for a second, but doesn't cause you any physical damage. However, Usterion, you could see like the, the little bit of aura and some of the, the flares, the runes that had lit up whenever he took energy from them, they fade a little bit. His aura of shield fades down a little bit. His now brightly greenish iridium filled and glowing um uh hand uh you know Metallica hand of Vecna is glowing less a lot less. As a consequence, Wusterin has lost some of his temporary HP and his second legendary action. Return. That's, That's a good for move. Rack. That's for Rack. <laughs> Armalad, your turn. What would you like to do? Um, I guess I'm not in shadow, so that's not going to work. Is the giant ball of darkness gone away? Not yet. Huh. Maybe I am in shadow. <laughs> um, it would be blocking the light off. So yeah, I think I would be in shadow. I'm going to take advantage. Of it. Um, I'm going. There's to be some shadow over there too. Go up to sixty feet into this shadow here i'm going to teleport here and i get advantage on the first attack on this box and then i'll take where it are oh no um but i'll still try to take two strikes fortunately i can't kick it afterwards 11? I don't know how, how much, what does it take to hit a box? Uh, the box? Let's see where you're at. You're destroying, your, you're going for the second box? Yes. Um, that does not hit. Yeah, it's tougher than it looks. It's like the glass how starts about cracking. The gold, just, yeah. just like uh, with runic things, runic charms, like flares greenish for a second. It doesn't break. I uh, 21 where you cracked it? Where you cracked it, mm -hmm. you aim carefully and you like a Q stick hit it and it shatters. Uh, roll me some damage. See how much damage you give it. 11. Uh, it's damaging and it's like they're still flickering and now there's like a hole, you know, where your staff hit and there's like a trickle yeah. of iridium like coming out slowly, like it's leaking. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, I can't do flurry of blows. Huh? Uh, I can't do flurry of blows. Well, it's still standing for now. I, I teleported. Um, so I guess that's end of turn. It? So that's that's a bonus action uh -huh. and an action. So technically, I still have movement. Yes. 
Um, but I don't see any point in moving anywhere. Uh, so, no. Uh, my suggestion is mm -hmm. you've got, you could put yourself right next to Wisterium. Oh, unless, that sounds like a brilliant plan. Well, unless he has something that allows him to move because basically I think we know what we're wanting to do. Um, I'm more worried that he's going to hit me with a ranged weapon than a melee weapon. So, yeah, no, I'm going to stay where I am. Well, if if he uh, if you're right but no if you're right next to him then disintegrates at uh then a range attack is at disadvantage. If that's your play. No, no, I'm not worried. Spell. Also depends on if he's warcaster or not. If he you hits don't... me with disintegrate, I'm dead no matter what, whether I save oh no, I guess technically if I save it depends on but... what he rolls in damage. Uh because no, it's I... also a dexterity he, saving. He did me. more than a hundred points. So even at half damage, I'd still be dead. So I no, I'm, I, I. You know what? The director, the director, director Carlos wants to intervene for a second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clarify. He grabbed a lot of this initial power straight from these glowing things, which overcharged his first two attacks. Overcharged. Mm. I gotta clarify for safeties. You know. Mm. No, I, I'm happy where I am. Because I've been on the end of disintegrate. That was a stupid amount of damage. It's not that part. It's powerful, but it's not. Remember, that. guys, it's mm. not me killing you. It's Wooster killing you. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> no, no, that was you killing uh, Wooster. Yeah, Wooster. Is it you your killed turn, Marissa? Freaking Wooster. No, but Wooster killed himself by being Woos there to be Tarker. So, anyway, Woos it's Narissa's turn. Hey Narissa, so, what's your what's your dexterity saving? I think you go before my guy, my dual guards, but well, just to double check. You what's your dexterity that? modifier? Is it a fourteen plus two or fifth? My dexter my dexterity modifier is a four. Okay, then uh, I think you go first. All right. What do you want do I do? see these guys behind me coming in? They are loud. He called in for he called in for for reinforcements, and they and are coming. They are loud. They're, they're heavily armed, and they're coming in guns blazing. Yeah, they're they're mm. they're and they're next. You Too know, bad they're you an could. or they're Too an bad. illusion. Uh, actually, actually, Carlos, they can't act this round. They can only mm. act on next round. Okay, but they are coming. And then, thank you for the clarification. Yeah, that's a little bit more fair. Damn it. Two. Too bad you can't use the darkness on them. Um, no. Um, but I might be able to use this and mimic Wisterian's voice because I just heard it. All right. Um. <laughs> however. Yep, yeah, you can definitely try it. Yeah. It, you. You can try to mimic, and I'm going to ask you to do a. Uh... Oh wait, this is a, this is a cantrip. You can't make it speech. No, I can vo I can boom my voice. You can boom your right. own so voice. Yeah. You could try to do a performance to give it to Wisterion, but I'm going to make the DC pretty high. So if you're trying to magically fool these guys into like not having this attack there's a chance but it'll be you know a little bit difficult and this will take your entire action do you want to go for it i'm gonna try all right roll me a performance you've already used your yeah whispers nope failed you give like you got, a hey, why you, don't you, 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 you give, wait, 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 wait. give me your best <laughs> of... I wasn't even gonna do Wisterian's voice. I was gonna say false alarm, like it, like you know, <laughs> like the, the, the alarms. Are like, you know, false alarm. You're trying to do a Han Solo. You're just going, yeah. It was 
we just had a small reactor leak. No yeah. need for you to come up here. Uh, no, oops. Uh, no, never mind. That was, I pushed the wrong button. Sorry. Uh, Boring conversation anyway. <laughs> I was going to do a false alarm. Like, really, you know, this was like, uh, how are you? <laughs> yeah. So, so you as, you, as, you, as you're you looking looking at these guys, they, there's like this one really short redheaded girl. There's this one one tall, broad broad shouldered, mustachioed fella. There's this one blonde uh, bl blonde girl coming in, and finally, of course, there is a black a black uh, very stiff looking lady lady coming in uh, at last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Here we go. Um, are, Would you next... like to move? Bonus action. Uh, and are are you taking down hide? the darkness? I am yeah, no, not taking, taking down, down the darkness because I'm going to run into my darkness. What are you guys thinking I'm doing? I'm not an idiot. Wait, take it down or not? I'm not taking it down. Okay. Okay, so you're running into it. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, How much movement do you have? I don't think you're going to get into it. You don't have right movement. Yeah, you can only move 15. You're in rough terrain. That whole, square, that whole circle you're in? That's difficult it's terrain. Icy. It's half as difficult to move in. You can get your there. movements I... half. Okay. I would then... hide. Wait. Hide. Can I finish talking? One, when we did your spell, I saved immediately on it. So it's not rough terrain right now for me. Yep. You said that it cannot be saved. You can only save the damage, not the terrain effect. Because the terrain effect is, isn't affecting you. It's affecting the terrain. Mm -hmm. That is that is correct. It's on the spell itself. The, the terrain is automatic. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere I, I, I can't. Well, no, I can hide right there. Technically, you're side. a rogue. You can use a bonus action to move. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think that's a thing that, that, that they have. No, the rogues don't have that anymore as a bonus action. Uh, they don't the, have that anymore. The, the, yeah. the monk, Armalad, the monk Wait. has that. Wait. No, no. No, no, no it's, it's, it's rogues that have the Ro bonus dash. Yeah, rogues can as a uh, from... Oh, what's that? It's... Know, I'll bring up chance. It's dash. Uh, yeah, they can hide. either do... They can do, oh, they can do I'll, either I'll a disengage, wait, wait, a dash, wait. or a hide as a bonus action through. Yeah, I think it's been over Uncanny. a turn since he he's in that. Nope. he's done that. Role. My turn is next. Yeah, his turn is next. My turn is next. That's at the end of that round. The hail goes away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you know what? You're right. Hey, look, check this out. There it is. Come in action. Bonus thank action you. to move. This action can be used to take a dash, disengage, or hide action. There you go. Yeah, you can you could use it to um, double your movement. Done yeah. and done. So I was right. I, I was going to be able to skid right into the darkness. Yes. On my knees. Yeah. It was just not. It was just that you were having to do it another way, though. Uh oh. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Hang on. I could I could fix this. <laughs> it's okay. I'm hiding. We're good. There we go. There we go. Well, well, welcome to the rules lawyering session of Elun Elun at Elun. All right, we're, we're moving on. Uh, yeah, your lawyers. I'm staring at my thug. We're next. Okay. It's, it's uh, thug. To for so much, and it's everybody versus with staring. I love it. And I just thug, to... go ahead. Go ahead. Thug is first. Um, so um, he sees uh, Armalad, and he's going to move over here, try to take cover behind this thing. He's going to shoot, take cover, and as he's backing up, take two shots at Armalad. Um, slug. Pew, 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 pew. That sounds like something from Star a, Wars. A 12 and, and a 5. As, yeah. as he's like going for the next shot, you hear the click, 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 click as it jams, and he's trying viciously to like unjam it. And as per usual, range attacks can't hit me. Hey! <laughs> You would be throwing uh, those uh, nine millimeters back at them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, he goes behind this thing over here to try to fix this jam thing. That's his turn. Okay, my turn. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one of you do I choose? One of you will be next. 
Oh, and, and also, cast a spell you still have on you. one. You still have one legendary action for this this one. Okay. Just so, one. one he already, he, he's already used a legendary action this turn. But apparently, I had he one. He had judge. two, but this and then it was destroyed, leaving him with one left. And from this turn on, okay, but I thought he already on, used one. So one I, yeah, I had recharged it up to two for this round, and next round I can use only one. So yeah, uh, so eeny meeny miny mo, which one should I go for? I'm going to roll a d3. One d3. Let's go. So it's number three, Scar. Of course, of course, Scar. Yes. Oh, finger of death. Um, hang on, hang on. Um, this one is not that much damage. I had changed this one on purpose. Oh, okay. It's... Ridiculously, this is not okay, that Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to roll the damage again, but it's still constitution saving throw of 14. Um, you may go for that. So it's 78 plus oh, I'm 30. Nasty, that spell but was... That's the amount of damage you'll be taking. It's a nice amount of damage, though. Nope. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. That's What's a the saving throw? Constitution. Constitution. 24. You save, so you only take half. <laughs> of 69. Yeah, that yes. would be 34. So 35. 34. 34. 34. 34. Yeah. How badly okay. are you looking? I have That's to use my calculator. Points. Thank you very much. You know what? I think I could just fix this. If before you were 57, you are now at 23. 23. 23 yeah. Oh, there thank you, you. Thank you. Ouch. Your bonus action next turn could be to um, uh, take a... Um... Alleviate. So, actually, Wooster had moved here, uh, here, and then he's going to take the, other, uh, take the legendary action. And... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, who is he gonna go for? Oh, oh elf. You think you can hide in the darkness for me? And Rusarian takes out a small pineapple from his pocket. Oh, crap. And lobs it in to the darkness. Fucking grenade. And it's going to take Da in its, uh, in its sphere of effect. And uh, Da luckily gets a resistance to this. So, too bad for you. Oh, fireball! Jeez. I don't. <laughs> yes. great balls of fire. So both Narissa and Da get to roll a deck save. Deck save. I I fucking fail that. Jeez. Yeah. Well, you only take fifteen points of damage. Narissa also takes fifteen points of damage. No, I don't. No, you have evasion, don't you? Yeah. Mm hmm. I take nothing from that. Oh, right, you succeeded. Right, right, right. Uh, Meaning you didn't hit me in that darkness. So, mm. I can't see that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you just hear, like, Narissa go, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? No, 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 no. All of a sudden, this happens, and I hear it in the darkness, and I'm like, going, you messed, fucker. <laughs> Nice. Um, just no, you just see like a wee hand come out for a moment and just do this. Does the fire, <laughs> does the fire melt the ice? Yeah, in that area. Oh yeah, it, Actually, it, it went away just... anyway. <laughs> oh, oh okay. It melts. It melts. It evaporates and it's it's out of here. I think that's the end of your turn. Yes. Yeah, that's the end of my turns. Dar <laughs> and Scar. Dar, you're, you're up and Scar, you're actually, Dar, you're up and then it'd be top of the round. Mm. You know what? Uh, let's what, take did, on. Did it taste good? I'm going to stop, try and stop him moving around like mad as best we can. I'm into it. <clears throat> mm hmm. Right. Just remember nothing. Thanks, yeah. 
So I am going to give myself, use my fight and, so I'm going to use my bonus action of fight and spirit. There, give myself five temporary hit points, but then allow myself to cut, uh, do my attack there with actual, yeah. Do, do my 200 attack with my longsword with advantage. So 19 oh hits, sir. What? Um, 19 does hit. Mm-hmm. But Guys, why does right it back. with advantage? Roll me the click on the click on the board. Uh, it is my fighting spirit. Click on yeah. it, and yeah. there'll be a spot where it could pop. Perfect. Thank you. It's a bonus action on your turn. You can give yourself advantage on a weapon attack rolls until the end of your current turn. Yep. Perfect. All right. Again, five hand temporary hit points. Okay. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. You hit. So I do that. It is then. 10. 10 damage. Ten Doesn't damage. even seem to get the booster again. It just. Your blade stops midair. Iron skin. Yours. Nope. Or whatever it's called. It, it, it just feels like the full surrounding Lucerian is too strong. It's just keeping your blade at bay. You pull it back. It's got that greenish iridium glow that almost like slows it down. Exactly. It, it's, um, it, imagine trying to <laughs> pull, trying to hit Froggy, hit a. Froggy's got it. Water armor. <laughs> Technically, it's I it's, guess it's magnets of... actually. <laughs> uh, anyways, Dar, uh, next, uh, I'm uh, going to launch my second attack there. Go ahead. 17. No, or it's uh, it's with advantage, so it's 19 again and it hits. Oh, okay. Hits. Yeah. 14. Same effect again. Yeah, just while this is happening, Dar is just basically launching attacks just to try and keep you busy, and he's just screaming, Destroy the box! <laughs> you could have come over and destroyed the box. No. How he's... many boxes are there? Two. Top One. Top of the okay. round. Me. No, yeah. him. No, you. The other one. No, no me. Uh... Yeah, I'm. I'm. Okay. I. I have destroyed the first box. The second box. No, me. Is there three? Is there? No. Were there three originally? There were only no. two. Okay. There were only two. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, top of the round. Um, you could feel that uh, the music intensifies as some sort of weird chanting sound is is heard. Where is Sudaram. where is it chanting? Well, it's the, the musical soundtrack is 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 coming from everywhere, um, and the area shakes and more music comes down. But if you want to be very specific, I would ask for you to roll me a perception check. Okay. In answer to your question, the and then everybody, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, sir. I was just joking. In answer to your question, the theater hasn't invested in the surround sound system, or <laughs> it's coming from the very top where that doorway is, where you know, or where you the the audience would know that that's where Maria and people are doing some sort of ritualistic thing to bring back somebody or other, and that you're trying to prevent. Raising the stakes here. I predicted in like seven episodes ago that you were trying to bring back Carlos, but okay. <laughs> um, okay, so she is going to go and... Oh, no, 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 sorry. Everyone Turn. else is... Time out. One more thing. Everybody. Mm. Pop Carlos, dexterity saving throws. Dexterity saving throw as more rocks and things are crumbling down. Dexterity 13. I Everybody it. saves. Everybody's fine. No problems. My guy is okay. uh, probably going to be fine. Okay. While everyone else is being, you know, oh no, doing their thing. Nope. Busterian is using big bad evil guy powers. Actually, what are you talking about? because because 
with when it comes to legendary actions, if someone starts describing their action, you can't interrupt them. It's only if they finish and you start saying legendary action before someone else starts saying their action. I, What's going on? I do believe I posted that interruption before the dexterity saving Yeah, what, he, what said, he said it like wait, four wait, wait, times Wait, 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 time out. Then. I'm the judge here. I'm the judge. What's going on? What's happening? I'm attempting wants to, use to legendary do a legendary action. action at the beginning of the turn. Whose turn? At the beginning of the round, Usterian said he wanted to do a legendary action. Okay. But I was in the middle of trying to to do my action before uh, he, he he said it long before you you right yeah, started I, talking I, about going up north. I'm still I'm still trying to yeah, we're still at the top of the round. Scar, I'm sorry, it's apologies. It's not your what did you want to do, by the way? Just for unless it's No, okay. I'll wait for, I'll wait. Go ahead, Wooster. Do your sorry. Do your thing. No. Evil. No. Evilness. Uh, no, I okay. want this is your to one... use Disintegrate on Amalek. There is no more Disintegrate. It's all used up. Okay, so think of that then. That's also, I believe, all used up as well. Ah. You only had so, I only have so many of those on the top levels. Okay, in that case... Amalek, maybe... Weird, um, weirdly I, enough, I prefer the disintegrate, but yeah, okay. Yeah, we could do the normal disintegrate. Let me let me figure out what a normal dis. Let me see what the potentially survivable. Trust me, I've been on the end of those spells. Twelve d yeah. twelve plus forty. No, no, that that's was, what that it was said. the power it's, it's, one. I amped it up. It's ten d six. Ten d six. Yeah, sure. Just a regular ten d six. So for your legendary action, you're going to try to stop him from blocking the uh, box. Yeah. Uh, it's a desperate move. You aim it. Uh, you roll your thing. Um, Armalad, roll me a dexterity saving throw. Damn, I forget it's a dex save. 23. Mm, I take nothing. Uh, it's 33 plus 40. Yeah, it's 33 plus 40. I, so I take cool. nothing. Oh, okay. It's, it's a dex saving throw. Yeah, so... Pff- as that in like there's the wall behind you is just like broken and as you're just like evading it and uh, like matrix did style. He, did he take out the box? No, of course not. That would be too. That, no, no. That would, <laughs> thematically, that doesn't fit. Um, he should have been in front of Armalad is in front of that box. I'm behind so, the box. <laughs> or whatever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, but the box is smaller than Armalad. Um, all right, so um, now, top of the round. Okay, now, Scar, you can go. He's used as one single action for the temp. Scar, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? Okay, so I already I already did my, you know, perception, whatever. I found out where the music is coming from or the from chanting. The yeah. And I go there because I know something bad is going to happen over there while everyone else is distracted with the fight over there. I want to stop the them. Door, I think the doors are still closed off for right now. Like it's still closed. Like uh. it's not accessible. It's not like an open chamber where you could run into. Uh. But you can attack the door. door. I mean, she said, stop them and hold them. It's not like, okay, stop them. And then I'm just going to leave the doors open. They're fully closed. Okay. But does that change that's your, where does that change your action? No, I'm going to try and stop them from doing their thing. So that means I'm going to go and try and open the freaking door. <laughs> um, it's definitely locked and closed. Um, uh, you can interact with it using an action. You can even hack at it if you want. How would you want it? I want, it is definitely I'm... locked and closed in some. It's a big, heavy wooden door with some sort of. It's not mobile right now. Actually, it would be probably metal. Yeah, it's definitely metal. But like most things, smashy, smashy. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Reckless? Reckless. Uh, afterward is Armalat and then Arisa. Um, is there any way we can take a break really fast? Because there was a major car accident outside my building. This is a good okay. time. To- <laughs> yeah, let's take a break. This is a perfect time. Let's come mm-hmm. back in like 10 minutes. Okay. Um, Before we go, I did 11. Uh, 20 points of damage. 20 points of damage on the door. 
Okay. Yeah, you hit it really subtly. It's going to take more time. Okay, and uh, let's yeah. take a 15 minute break here. Uh -huh. See you at 15, boss. Uh -huh. Thanks, guys. Does... Indeed, it is sunbathing uh -huh. weather. Naked sunbathing. Oh, was that? <laughs> oh, are we back on stream? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, boy. And the eagle. Bonk. Oh, right. the my, my, na you. my name there is wrong. I should have changed that a long time ago. There we go. <laughs> oh, there's an Elder Wolf checking us out. A what now? There's what? an Elder Wolf in our chat. Oh. Oh, you know what? I accidentally covered my chat this time, damn it. There we go. That's better. Or he was and he disappeared. That's my thing, didn't I? No, no, Elder Wolf is still off. there. Uh -huh. well, I, if if they show up in the chat and then leave, they stay they stay still in the uh, list, the viewers list. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. I don't know how anything works. Oh, well, that's typical. <laughs> I don't know either. I, I'm just waiting for some to go. You know that that access to the big bad I gave you. Yeah, that's getting taken back there. And that yeah, what have you have you not enjoyed that? Because I mean, I have not been having to do jack shit. I mean, uh, yeah, I should change are... my background to a bit more threatening. I guess one, yourself. it's fine. It's fine. I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. This is why I, when I've done it in games, this is one of the reasons why I've done it. It's just so I can just relax, you know. And it's like I just listen to. I'm too. You know, I'm too high for this shit, man. <laughs> you, you all just, you know, you you know how it goes. You know what I do, right? Just, <laughs> just do my job for me while I just chill out and DM here. Well, yeah, yeah. So is it, is it is it time sure. Booster is gonna take out the bat? <laughs> the bat, which bat? The, the bat. Damn oh, fifty. Um. <laughs> We'll see. Let's anyway. It's not Wusterin's turn right now. It is. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to this. Uh, shaking. The music is intensifies. Uh, the uh, loud orchestral. Um, what's it? The chanting style musical background score is intensified. Scar is break trying to break down with her axe. This metal big metal door reinforce style did you know that uh uh the the rollo family have been trying to protect against now instead holding out the only heroes that could get that could save meanwhile wisterion is desperately trying to prevent anybody from breaking one of the last remaining um in Energy boxes. fires, let's say. MacGuffins. <laughs> <laughs> Is it an Egg MacGuffin? No, that's not. And that's where the camera cuts to uh, as Armalad was is evading like this this death ray, and he just is evading by jumping and climbing over the wall, doing this backflip, and then finally was staring at like, fuck. And you are back where you were near the thing near this glowing box that has iridium that's leaking out spraying slowly uh and it's made out of gold and it's flickering it's your turn fuck what do you want to do 19 did i hit the box you hit the box for eight bludgeoning and eight bludgeoning and previously you had hit it for 11. 11 yeah it is breaks. It is now uh, with like a little flash and a splash as this iridium now like glows and like almost seems to uh, evaporate in this magical flashing thing. Uh, camera cuts to it's now inert and just dripping bloop 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 wisterion's glow lowers and his uh the the runes stop lighting up as much as 
he loses temporary hit points on his extra, extra shield. Where are you at? The shield flickers out of existence. That's hit number one, Armalad. Uh, what would you like to do? Oof. Flanking style against Wisterion, who's been kicking your guys' fucking ass till now. Take um, your turn. Second shot. Miss. 15. Missed. Uh, key point. I thought you used a bonus action to poof. What? No. No poof. He moved. He's got um, ridiculous movement as a I part. have 50 movement. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's broken. Uh... Oh, I have advantage. Uh, that would be a 27 critical. That would 27. Be that hits. Um, 11. 11. And, and yes, that is magical damage if it matters. Yes, it does. And second. Because three. it's bludgeoning damage, you could, I mean, the armor here is Bong. thick against your thing, but... You knock his head, and it's a big knock. Dizziness. Um, I rolled it again. I don't know, like little quarter staffers. Ignore that. That was quarter staff. It's supposed to be this one. Uh, twenty six. We'll take the. Uh, it's fine. You did say ignore that. It's... That hits a whopping five damage. A whopping and, five damage. And. and... And 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 that uh, you can interfere with the flow of key. If I spend another key point, I can stunning strike. And he has to make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. DC, DC sixteen. Make a Constitution saving throw, Wisteran. Oof. You are stunned until the end of my next turn. Is he though? Is he though? Oh no. <laughs> no! 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 You could just choose to succeed. Oh, period. I choose to succeed. You could succeed, yeah. like I, nah, nah, I pass. Yeah. Yes, I didn't read. Miss, that. miss <laughs> me with that bullshit. Yeah. Oh, it was. It was cool. <laughs> um, well, I heard nice music. Beat up, uh, Armalad. I have completed my um. Endeavors. Narissa. Yeah, Narissa's up, and then it's uh, the bad guys' turn. Money is on two different things. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. He's watching two different things or oh, oh, paying okay. attention. I think he's cal she's called Marissa surrounded by darkness as yeah. her ears are still yeah, ringing I'm, I'm pineapple exploding. And mm -hmm. she thinks of her next movement, knowing nothing of what's happening around in the background. Yeah, because, yeah, you're right. I'm hearing rain, but it doesn't stop whispers. The whispers. <laughs> yeah, but that one thing that you anything. can hear whispers in two, the wh whether the or not they give you the current information or something from 500 years ago. But, <laughs> but it's, it's like the ringing's not stopping me from hearing the whispers. Yeah. That's the only thing I can hear. I mean, I'm enjoying the silence of some sort. Um,
Oh, oops. Is Wisterian actually distracted? You don't know. He's, again, unknown because you're in this thing and the whispers aren't letting you see without a I, using the, your full the, action. Yeah, that, the, that I know. What I'm getting at is... Physically, I mean, he's got a, yeah, I mean, they're flanking him. He's flanked. There are people next to him. So that, that's what I'm getting at, is I'm hoping and praying he's flanked and he won't see me coming out of the darkness. Okay. That's what I'm hoping for. Is there... Okay. Because I was hoping to come out and then try... Try to get in position to be able to hit him. Sure. Um... <sighs> Here, here. Um, roll me, roll me. Um, yeah, the last known location. Has he moved uh, since the last no. known location? No. Armalad, please. Yeah, what? go move somewhere and then shoot. Go for it. Uh, that puts me right in position to hit him. Do you want to do a uh, take aim or hide app or hide beforehand or do anything like that? Or you're going to want your intent to shoot twice? I was going to intend to shoot twice. Okay. Get Roll ready it. for a TPK. So the first one doesn't hit. First one does not hit. Second one. The second one does hit. For 10. For 10. Actually, actually, um, do you forget that I kind of poisoned my darts? Go for it. Roll a d6. It doesn't matter. He's immune to poison as he's a dwarf. He's got, um, all right, it I'm takes an is it, He's resistant. Is he resistant to all Resistant, poisons? I think. Resistant yeah, or immune? Yeah, that halves the damage, yeah. No. Okay, there it is. Not immune. It's just resistant. So he takes two from it. So okay. he takes a total of 12. He is hurt, um, but he's still standing. I'm it is still that. standing. And it is, is my turn. Wait, no, 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 no. Isn't he stunned from... Nope. Nope. He, he retroactively saved that. I that resisted. Legendary resistance is a pain. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure, but it has been the end of my bargain. Farewell. Wait a second. Also, um... Whoa, what the hell was that? Jeez. Whatever that was, it was very long. What teleport. The... He teleported. Um, how was he going to do that? It's not his turn yet. Technically, it's going to be my turn before the... No, yeah. They, uh, there's one bad guy, but... Before me. Nerissa, did you forget to roll sneak attack? I did forget to roll sneak attack because you were talking about hiding before that and that, so I didn't think I had my sneak attack roll. No, yeah, you, you He's do. He's engaged, so... They're adjacent, that's all. I just meant, like, it, it, it mattered whether you were going to roll with advantage or not. Uh, but yeah, I think with the sneak attack, Wusterion, they might take you out here. Uh -oh. So I'm Let's... allowed to roll my sneak? Yeah, go for Take it. Damage. 14. I think with that... That takes me to zero. So, how would you both like to do this? Oh, no, no. no, no. That's has. That has. Oh, that's all? You're allowing me? Yep. All yours. Good. So literally, she had she as she's. Hang on a second. Leaves us in suspense. I'm like, anyway. Your room was back. Oh boy, that's funny. That's <laughs> funny. That is too funny. Bail. So, I kind of. So, I have it. So literally, 
Narissa looks at Mysterion and goes, did you forget about me, fucker? And she shoots right at him. <laughs> Woo! His dying words is, yes? Hits him. <laughs> hits him straight through now. <laughs> This this is this is uh you know high tech SWAT style armor from the planet Dirt. Uh, it's got ruins enchantments. You hit him this little section here <laughs> where there's nothing, and he just gurgles, <laughs> and he as he starts like crawling, falls onto his knees, surrounded now by Dar. And um and who is it? Darian Armalad. Uh Scar in the mean in the background is still you hear smashing, smashing. And um, and I say, and I say, okay, come and help me open this goddamn door. <laughs> fantastic. There's this giant dark circle. You can't see through it. You don't know what's going yeah. on. <laughs> um meanwhile uh, uh, what um, is it? What is it called? What is it called? The Wookiee rule? Wookie uh, they know right. what's going on. Uh-huh. Yeah, I learned. I'm kind of quick. So anyway, let me let me finish <laughs> with Steren's death scene. Let me finish with Steren's death scene before we panic you. I mean, that's in the background. That's just to keep the tension going, which is good, which is good. Meanwhile, um, with Steren's and um, Thar and, and Armala just finish him off, goes off screen as... Um, off screen as they you guys all of you just like finish him off together his arm is still attached now we're out of combat let's go ahead and disappear um, the- <clears throat> quick question the guys that he summoned they vanish. Are they still oh, yeah, here? they're still here aren't they or would they nope. vanish they vanish oh, because okay. you forget one thing wooster Ryan is a master of illusion so now that you have killed his body, yeah, okay, it too right. vanishes. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get out of combat and see what the ramifications of this are. Scar is desperately trying to open this door. Um, there's, there's actually still one bad guy up by Scar. Yeah, there is one bad guy technically. I think he's gonna book 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 it, hide it. <laughs> oh, I always skipped him. Yep. Yep. His rifle is um Yeah, he his rifle broke, his AR broke. He is chicken shit right now and just just hoping you forgot about him. <laughs> yeah, go hide up over here in the corner here. You know and, what? Uh, maybe you we won't what? notice you. He's got a he's got a plus three on his stealth. Let's see how well that is. Eight. Okay, we all still see him with passive perception <laughs> he's got his, he's trying to be nonchalant whilst fiddling with his eight with the rifle anyway i don't i don't even care about him i'm trying to open the store to stop whatever crap is going on so i you know i've just got like this image he's trying to do it he like releases the magazine he's like juggling the magazine in his hand and it's like clattering to the guy like yeah hey, just forget about me guys <clears throat> you know <laughs> go on um, time out time out yeah <laughs> Um, I got I got a perfect guard, but first off, do you want to um, do you want to leave Wisterion there? Do you want to leave? Uh, the no, arm? no, we definitely want to remove the the uh, hand of Vecna. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I, are I, you I... sure? Because what happened previously, history telling us. You know? <laughs> oh, I'm dismembering Wisterion. You, you know what, Armalad, you're prepared for this. You have a bag of colding. Holding. Oh, okay, that's good. I like that word. You have a bag of colding ready, and you're going to be careful to not even chop off right where it starts, like extra. Yes. Yeah. Basically, so, put the put the arm up until past where the Vecna is into the bag, and then chop off above it. While this and is the, happening yeah. in the background, Scar is like breaking through this metal thing with the with the with each strike. Strike. It's like a continuous musical strike. Dong, bang, bang, bang. dong, dong. Cut to. No, we'll save that. From in, we'll save that from the interior. The door is open. Psst. Camera, everything's black. 
you see the shot of you in a silhouette kicking open breaking open this door light pours in you're in silhouette surrounded by everybody as you enter into this room it's a giant stone structure ziggurat thing um stone structured ziggurat thing with tons mm -hmm. of iridium preset everywhere there is a um there's like these ritualistic things in the background all over the all over the place and uh um oh boy yeah let me pause right here for a second <laughs> no worries it's fine it's fine i'm sorry guys it, it was my son it's perfectly it's perfectly fine i think i'm gonna do something better i think i've changed my mind slightly here we go <laughs> it's perfect it's fine uh you're breaking open this door smash 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 cut to maria this dude slain on the ground in the uh frederick slain on in some sort of uh unritualistically on top of this table um is it Frederick? this is this is not what any of you are seeing this is yes. not what any of you are seeing this is before and you guys even enter no 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 question is it frederick that's what he said it is yes. definitely frederick <gasps> yeah frederick is is ritualistically sacrificed on on top of a table the blood is poured into this thing which is feeding this iridium thing which is powering this on this chanting this sort of like bubble black bubble that's grown big and it's just sparkling and and things are like the music is chanting louder and louder uh the uh the, the music is chanting louder and louder and from there maria her face is anxiously waiting for somebody to step through a figure in black youngish uh bald 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 head uh dressed in modern dirt clothing almost like a business suit comes comes walking out holding a suitcase i want to throw my sword at the guy again this is before any of you this is before <laughs> this happened before any of you even enter mm -hmm. this is like previously to you guys entering into this mm -hmm. i know uh it's coming out this figure maria is, is talking <sighs> She steps forward like, is that really you? Carlitos, is that really you? No, mama. I'm no longer Carlitos. I'm no longer Carlos. I am just Los. <laughs> Cut. You guys break through this door. It's empty. Nothing there but the body of Frederick. Little bit moments too late. Wait, wait. They were still chanting when I was breaking down the door. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, one last thing. One la no, no, no. You get to see this. You get to see this. There's a, like a, a uh, there's a portal like opening up there. There's a portal in the far wall silhouetted there you could see maria with her are a few of these um drow ladies all dressed in black and chantresses are like a handful of them as you can see them already going in as the doors break open they all turn to look at you and you can clearly see this woman this witch dressed her veal is now gone older lady veil. standing next to him is a veil. youngish man Veil, not veal. Veal, veil. Yes, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Bambi. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. She's Thank wearing you. Bambi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The veil. I, sorry. What in, you know, the, the veil is gone. Uh, yeah. You clearly see her face, clearly see them, and she smiles. Yeah, I throw my axe at her. Roll me, roll me, uh, roll me, uh, roll it. What would it be? I'll just throw your axe attack, normal axe attack. Eleven. Is 
they step through the the portal closes seconds before your i mean like a split second before the axe hits before it and clatters through and bounces off of the wall in the background you got got a clear look at them as they all disappeared and except leaving maybe no you didn't even catch um one of the girls i i think it should have been like dobby it should have gone in with it <laughs> it should have Not gone in with it Let's I think it should have gone in. I Let's think it, it goes in. in. And it I was like a reckless girl. attack, so it was a 26. Oh. <laughs> reckless attack with a 26. Mm-hmm. Still, uh, I like I don't it. know. I don't it know if it, it closes, and I don't know if it actually hit because it's in there. And, but yes, you're right. It was reckless because of the fact that I'm like, so now we have Schro so now thanks to Scar, we have a Schroeder and Gers reckless. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scar, you're gonna need a new axe, and there is a halibut on the floor that nobody's using. I'll take was, it. It wasn't it disintegrated? No. The uh, magic item survivor. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll bunny take... slippers. No, I'm not taking the bunny slippers, but I am taking that halibut. Halibut? halibut? <laughs> you're gonna attack them with a fish? He, he's she's going to name it Halibut. <laughs> so, what would you like to do? I th I think we should interrogate our friend here, since he's sure. the only person left. Where did uh, they go? Point, um, that Allie, way. Who had been hiding the hand, <laughs> run backwards, comes back with also help. Um, yeah. Little comes too little back too with late. Uh, extra guards and extra help. Um, as now, like there's more and more people coming coming in. Um, Cameron just cutting to the outside as as uh, people are like looking, like what the fuck happened here? And then uh, Ali, you see that girl came comes back for help. <sighs> were you able to? Were you able to stop them? We stopped Wusterian, but we did not stop Maria. Cut to. Armalad. You're in charge. Where would you like to go for a deep for the next scene where we debrief and take post things? Uh how about the, the dungeon where we can interrogate this guy? You want to interrogate this guy first? Yeah. All right. Cut to this the cell. Uh, he's in chains. He's been, uh, you know, there's still chaos in the background, and you're splashing water on him, waking them up. All of you are present. We Roll are. me a group intimidation, or who wants to talk and who wants to intimidate? I'll intimidate. Let's do that first. Okay. Scare him. Yeah, I'll tell you what, what do you want to know what? You got me, okay? Look, he just paid really good. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. What uh, what was uh what was the big plan here? What what was what going on in that back at the ziggurat there? What was Maria trying to do, and where was she going? We figured we needed the special kind of manage that this Los guy, or whatever, was going to bring over from the dirt realm. It was going to fix the whole reason why our weapons don't last that long. Something to do with not with not interfering properly with arcane magic and some sort of new magic. I don't know what it's called. So we figured we come in, take over. We get an easy alliance with the Dirt Realm who can provide us with weapons. Plus they get access to Iridium magic. It's a one win for everybody. And Wisterian gets to be king. And us proud, uh, us proud uh, dwarves can, you know, take back what's rightfully ours. And plus, you know, it's promised a land. 
What what does iOS stand for? It's Los. Oh. Oh. Director Los. Uh oh, I see now. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see that. On the stream, it doesn't have your name. Too tiny to read. I pulled an um, armal out on you. <laughs> what is loss? Um, what is loss? Who is loss? Um, yeah, who is loss? Is the son of some important bigwig. This witch. Like, Maria? Yeah, I think I've heard that name thrown around. Maria. <laughs> Marie is the one who wears like animal skins on her face, right? You got to see her. Mules. <laughs> she made some deal with um what Bloody. why don't you roll me some more <laughs> persuasion or something to uh get this guy to talk a little bit further. You can see at this point he's like thinks he's like just giving you more than enough, but there's like a roll me um actually roll me a insight. Somebody roll me an insight. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> Plus seven, and I get a twelve. You could tell that there's. You could tell that he's on the verge of say telling more. He's That's on the, the verge of telling he more. He's on the verge um, of some of like he's hesitating or something. Like he doesn't trust you guys, or maybe he trusts you. What are you know. holding back? Roll me a persuasion or intimidation. Uh, go ahead. Uh, in intimidate him again. With the advantage, because everybody's there. You slam your tables and, uh, I don't know, say something cool. Say something scary, Scar. You better tell us, or I will go find your family Jeez. and bring them. I thought you were going to say, I'm going to eat you, but oh, okay. Oh. All right, fine. Okay, Let's that's go. a bit dark. Are we the good guys? <laughs> well, the goons are but still. Uh, no, was... no, you don't understand. They no, no, no. killed Rack. I'll tell you whatever, man. Just leave my family out of it, please. Look, these people are weird. Like, they're all into some weird, weird necromantic magic. Uh, this woman shouldn't even be alive. She's from Planet Dirt. She's over 400 years old. The only way you could deal with that is some sort of book she carries around. Anyways, Wisteron was going to fix the whole problem with the weapons. And, I mean, is he still alive? Uh all right, no. I'll tell you everything. Just clemency, please. I mean, I just was in it for the money. I didn't even hurt anybody. I didn't, my, my weapon didn't even jam. I faked it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, I I saw the bullets going past me, but okay. I don't believe that. I missed my purpose. I, I mean, it's too much weird magic shit, man, for me. I didn't understand half of it. Just feel fortunate and, you didn't try and anyway, hit me. You continue to interrogate as the scene yes. like shifts out. I'll answer any last minute questions that you might have. Where did they go? To Earth. Earth. He doesn't know where they went. Um, I don't know. Maybe back to the secret mountain cave. I, I could show you. If you promise to let me go, I'll show you around. Tell you everything. It probably went back to the mountain hideout. Have you I mean, been to the mountain? If hideout? they teleported, you'd say that you teleported somewhere. That's mm -hmm. his best guess. Okay. Have you been there? Yeah. Have you been there by method other than teleportation? No. I. Where is it? It's close to where you're at. He shows you on the map. It's fine. It doesn't matter. You're not going to adventure there. Okay. This is it's the in, end of this story yeah, here. It's it's in place X. Okay. Yeah, it's in place yeah. X. Yeah. Well, hopefully Maria got the axe. So with this, we'll transition to um you know, you're 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 relaying information back and forth with the Arcana Pansophical and with 
uh, Vesper, Elena. Now in the background, the scene is um, they're having a, a they were having a funeral for the queen. It's a big event. They've what about captured... for Frederick? As well, yes, Frederick, Frederick as well, as well as many. There were many soldiers. Luckily, your guys' intel saved a lot of lives. And these are tough and hardy people. And your guys' morale increased everybody. You guys did a fantastic job bringing everybody's morale up and... and your swift action prevented many a bad catastrophe. So there was less losses on the on the Whitestone side and for the most part a lot of Wisterians men's finally, you know, gave gave up. Some sort of like they just gave up. Uh this is post all of this, you guys are having a funeral. You're relaying information back and forth with your Khan upon Safago. Now that you really don't fear as much intercepts between Iman and Arkana on the other side, you're re relaying to Alora, and Alora saying, what well, sounds like you saved the people and accomplished what Vitxalia would have wanted. I have a feeling she knew her time was coming. And she's off to a better place. It bothered me to hear that this is Maria. And... This new person, they brought back the sun. Ah. This is fantastic intel. I'll be sending you, uh, you'll be meeting up with some more specific, uh, what's her name? Uh, what's the other drow character that you would, what was it? You're muted. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Are you talking about Maya? Yeah, Maya. Yeah, Maya, Maya's there too now. Maya's here as well. Um, you know. And she's filling in holes wherever there there is. You know, she's like uh um we only uh Maya's saying that they only knew so much information as well. Uh she could only get certain intel and she has no clue where they're going or where they're or or what's at stake now. <laughs> yeah, fucking fuck. Excuse me, Alura. May I have a word with this gentleman? And oh ladies? my god. What What's the fuck? <laughs> Extremely what the snazzy. Oh, no, anyway, I love what it. I love an it. actual I love fuck it. am I seeing right now? Uh, really we're, we're introducing our new fainter. We're now going to be doing LARPing next. <laughs> so, it. so you guys um, catch a lure up. Um, there's a little bit of cleanup left to do at White. Actually, no. If we're not going to be adventuring here in the next couple of weeks, then we're just going to be... Uh, we could wrap this up nicely. Mm -hmm. um, your characters. Oh, what Bobby. would you like... Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Rack is completely gone. There is no Rack. So he doesn't Dog get a post adventure scene. There's no Mysterian either. So Wooster lost two characters in yeah. one episode. Yeah. Slack, slacker Wusterian. Should I, should I be in fear uh, for, for uh, Buddy now? Doug? <laughs> uh, not Buddy, Doug, for Doug. No. For Doug? Yeah, Doug? Should I be in fear for Doug now? Buddy I, I actually, actually, Carlos, you of... just dug his grave. Uh. Buddy's part of John's campaign. Anyways, um, post. Let's wrap up with what Scar is go is doing in the in the post episodes at the end of all this. Scar is going to a bar, grabbing a drink, and toasting her friend Rack. Well played, my friend. Well played. And then she's going to try and find out where her sword went. Her axe. axe. Her axe. axe. Yeah. And you're like, I got an axe. There. I'm going to get that axe back. You've got an axe to grind with your body. Yes. Uh, with, and um, are you going to, con uh, we'll probably continue your character maybe in the future for 
any possibly big bad adventure against your kind of pantsophagus will sideline you for the time being this against or for the end against the arcanum pantsophical or for the arcanum pantsophical no uh (laughs) works with okay you said against (laughs) Uh, what's going on with you Larissa is you know she goes back to talk to the gentleman fills the gentleman in because of of course that's where her allegiance lies but it's not just there she did see Vax and Vax and Vax get together so she is going to go back to the matron shrine she is going to further that because there's she knows there's no way to get around it that that's where she's going to be called to you hear the whispers and once you hear once you hear and can see it's just there and that's a path that's constantly calling you fantastically we'll fade out with you once again um going to a different or a seeking out a new uh, uh another temple for the raven queen uh and you walking in and the door is closing behind you as the whispers in the shadow and takes you over dar tell me about your character post this adventure i think you will seen you know of dar is him walking up a mountain side coming to this small village of dragonborn and it is like comes to a small house door opens figure says so you're back you just get figure just gets a grunt from Dar and they and they say, For how long? Until I'm called again. Perfect. Perfect. Armalad. Close us out. Armalad is going to return to it called Iman? Main city again Iman yeah that's it um and uh go into the headquarters and report back to uh general pie general drop pie? off the hand um I was thinking about that but yeah yeah I'll drop off the hand um one other thing you might notice is um my footwear has changed Oh. <laughs> wearing the bunny slippers? I'm wearing bunny slippers from now on. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And with that, we'll... anything else? That's a good spot. And, and and no, I'm just reporting back to General Pie and telling him what happened. Booster, mysterious stranger. He's dead. <laughs> Long die the king. Title change of episode. Hey. So. So, Scar, being out there wandering, wandering the wilderness, when suddenly from behind her, there's a booming sound coming from above. What are you doing with my husband's halberd? And it's. Uh-oh. Is it Mrs. Mysterion? No, that would be fuck? Mrs. Rack. I'm sorry, yeah, Mrs. Rack? Or it could be Mr. Rack also. Oh, we yeah. don't we don't judge, do we? And and there we go. There it is. And uh so this is uh Rack's significant other talking to Scar for and with that we'll fade out that scene. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, we've just had a Marvel end credit scene, that's all. <laughs> well, we get a little bit backstory of Rack. Now you know he had a significant other. 
and we just hear the voice and scar gets to tell the story of the adventures of iraq it'll be cool oh that's awesome there it goes yeah that's a good ending meanwhile credits 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 i've got one last scene mm -hmm. the chanting carlos the son now named as los with the suitcase here at this new location mama with this new technology this new magic we can do anything we could bring back papa we could get our revenge he opens it up the case obviously homage to uh um pulp fiction where you just see the lighting light up <laughs> um maria her face glowing now wrinkly and shriveled and with an axe outside her battle axe outside her back oh uh she's looking uh tell me tell me about this son and uh he he reaches in and he's just holding like his hands are now like glowing in a certain kind of glowing uh golden thing like as if he just dipped his hand in pure gold and it's translucent and sparkling and and glowing mama this is called movie magic <laughs> i can do anything with this we'll bring back papa and kill alura <laughs> end scene I thought you were going to he's going to open it up and it's going to be a flux capacitor and he's going to have time <laughs> yeah, the case is just got they work the letters I O L M on it <laughs> no 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 my lock the, the case actually had Taurus on it oh <laughs> don't get it I'm not so, explaining that one no <laughs> the goon squad did its thing took out Usterion and Los is back or Los is here it would have been I'm better if Maria died then he'd have even more reason for revenge but nah I want a Maria versus Allura battle to happen <laughs> so hold on just a minute, you just want a cat fight. No. Pretty much. I want the two most strongest powerful ladies in power. Second, you know, second most powerful lady of the land of this of here. Mm -hmm. Um have a good fighting chance against the new and improved badass Oops. lady of dirt. <laughs> With powers and influence by um the Briarwood book. So Let the gentleman come back. What's the, that? My <laughs> character, gentlemen. My character. Does my character come back? Um you can come back at any point with the next adventures. We'll see what happens. If that yeah, so, so, so here's the deal. When your character becomes a leader of a faction, they retire from adventuring until the point when they retire from leadership. And then they can become an adventurer again. Wait, um, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wusterian. Wusterian was a leader of a faction group, and you got to play his character. Yeah, but that's a yeah, bad Yeah, but guy. we probably had to die first. He had to die so, first. <laughs> So, got a well, good question. Wait, wait, on, on that, I want to get your guys' feedback on that. What was going through your guys' mind? I, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? He <laughs> just killed him, and we only had, and it was in the first mm. 30 minutes of play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I have a good question. What's that? Whatever happened to Leia? Because remember, she went with Wisterian. She has not been seeing hide her hair. Who do you think is going to be the next said. bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> no. Somebody's going to take yeah. revenge on Vosterian's behalf. 
I think I asked. I think I asked you about thing between those two was a thing. Wait, Leia was Leia was the bard. The the bustling. The bustling. She was the only one shorter than Wisterian. I don't know. We'll see. Probably nothing. Probably just (laughs) stopped adventuring. Be happy that I brought one of your guys back. Somebody's got to be the spy on the wall. I was the like, actors oh, dropped wait, out. The actors dropped out. Yeah, that's it. The planet here. I was like, oh, we haven't confirmed or denied what was going on between those two. So, yeah. so the teaser trailer for the next season of Stargate. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Good evening. You have been selected as candidates to join the Bravo team. Each of you will be given a chance to prove yourselves. Do not fail. That's the three of you guys. That's the three of you guys, because both uh, Sarah and I are not going to be here for two weeks. There we go. That is a fantastic trailer. I like it. Sorry, I'm going to be not here for four weeks. Out. So we're gonna have a deal without jail. Um, I oh, hope no. you I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hey, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna miss you guys. It'll be mm-hmm. sadness. Have a great. I'm uh, sorry. Have a great cruise. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not gonna miss you guys because <laughs> I'm gonna be in the Caribbean. I hope you guys have a good time. I was gonna say yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I have a lot of project. What? Oh wow! I'm um, gonna be I'm gonna be uh, drinking mimosas every morning. It actually, at some point on your cruise, take a rock and throw it off the side of the ship. I guarantee you'll miss us. <laughs> Ow. Well, I'm not gonna have any rocks on the ship, but uh, you might go bring to the- one to the boat in your pocket. Nope, a penny. Use a penny. They still use pennies in the U.S. Or just throw yes. a piece of, or throw a piece of bread. I suppose yes. Pennies are still a thing. But but yeah, I would I would prefer if you didn't litter the ocean with uh-huh. random stuff. So drop some food so the fish can eat it. Yeah. Suppose that is a currency. Poop. Until you go fish to the poop, make sure to poop in the ocean. Until you go to the stripper bar, they don't seem to accept you. Using pennies to pay. Yeah. Um, un- unfortunately, close enough to one of them. Un- unfortunately, Rack does not get a funeral because there is nothing left of him. He's like totally disintegrated. Hey, it's called a he closed can... gasket funeral. <laughs> he can he can still have a wake. There's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, I and Scar is definitely going to enjoy her her cruise. And um, Scar, right, you know, is Take going care, to be drinking to Rack. So, with Rack's but husband I... or wife or significant other. See yeah. you, Froggy. Bye, Froggy. Well, anyway, let us two be on our way. Oh. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. I suppose, guys, it is time to say bonus nachos, everybody. Well, that's not Joe's. Oh, that's not everybody.